Hey, welcome back YouTube for another video and I'm going to be doing on scams. It covers basically most of them on tips and tricks on how to protect you. Um, and there's another great video on this too that I'm going to mention before I start the video. If you got YouTube or can access YouTube, type in CBC Marketplace. CBC Marketplace. It's a news channel based out of Canada. I think it's Toronto, Canada. They talk a lot about Toronto anyhow, so I'm guessing it's Toronto. It's called CBC Marketplace. Like, subscribe to them. I'm not part of them, but they are trained professionals. They are good at what they do. They tell anything in there from automotive scams to car buying scams. About them busting these call centers out of India and different things. So give them a check out, like, and subscribe to them. And it's called CBC Marketplace. Okay. I'm going to try to explain about debit, credit cards, banks, phone scams, a little, little bit of this and that. I'm not going to make the video awfully too lengthy, but... I'm going to try to cover what I can cover. If I did forget anything, leave it down in the comments below, please. And I'll try to help you out on them. Um, because you can only cover so much of one unit without going brain dead or tongue twisted and anything like that. But no further ado, let's start this video right now. Um, the first one I'm going to cover is basically like the second one. We're going to go with the IRS and social security scams, phone call scams. All right. First of all, people, the social security, the job and family services, which is your welfare for food stamps, Medicaid, whatnot. And IRS is never going to call you. I only had the Social Security call me one time here in town is because where my caseworker has been out there for years, retired, and decided to take a retirement, and somebody else took his spot. But it was a legit call. And same with that IRS. If you hear any meow, that's probably my cat coffee or creamer, one of them. Because the other ones are outside. But, I'm telling you for a fact, don't give these guys personal details. Like your name, date of birth, certainly not your social security number, credit card, banking, or debit card details. That's what they want you to do. Some of them will threaten you. Yeah, we're going to send the police out to arrest you. We're going to file charges against you. That's not going to happen. Because one thing, the Social Security and them will not ask you for any banking details. The only way you give your banking details, like routing number and account number to a Social Security agent, is if you call them at the local office, if you start that bank account, so your checks can get direct deposited into your account. You follow what I'm saying? So, a lot of them will threaten you with debit card details. A lot of them will threaten you with, like, gift cards, like, you know, Amazon gift cards. The biggest ones are Play Store gift cards, like for Apple, iTunes, Google Play. The normal people won't do that. Okay, they're going to discuss business. They're not going to threaten you not unless something's on you. Okay. For, you know, like a lot of these oil change centers. Like if your oil's dark and your car needs change, check your oil before you leave to see if it's how dark it is. When they get done changing it, supposedly, then you recheck it to make sure they put clean in it. Check your air filters, hoses, whatever. Lighting before you leave to get it done because some of these places will upsell their products say the most expensive oil changes 
and sell you products you really don't need. So that's another scam tactic. Like one time I took my car to a 15 minute oil change. Somehow, I don't know how in the heck they did it, they cracked the front of the engine block. And it has to be special welded through a place. It has a Heliarch aluminum welder. And that was gonna run me $500. So I dropped the oil pan, cleaned all the gasket off, cleaned everything off the engine degreaser, carb or brake spray, sandpaper. And you bought a pack of JB Weld, mixed it, patched it, waited 24 hours. Next day, get it under the car, check it. It looked good, dry. I was able to put my oil pan gasket back on, put my oil pan up. Of course, you have to use a new gasket each time. Put the pan back up, bolt it, drop five quarts of oil in it, filter and everything, and the leak stopped. Um, another way you can protect yourself from credit cards, now I'm not going to show you no information, get you an RFID blocker wallet, like an aluminum wallet, or one of these, but see, you don't know really how much protection these has, so I'm going to show you a little trick I did, I know you're probably going to yip at me for this, but say what you will, at least I know I'm protected, my wife's protected too, I'll show you, like if you get gift cards, or old like debit cards through the mail, like credit cards, where you can pre-qualify, but they're not legitimately useful yet to sign up to get them. Keep them, wrap them in tinfoil. Put one in front, like I got pockets in that, put one in the pocket. Our debit cards behind this one, I put this one behind that one, this way it's sandwiched in between. That's because a lot of these credit cards, debit cards now, does not usually have the black strips on them. They do, but most of them like our bank card, gray. A lot of them has these RFID chips in it, and it sends out a, a radio frequency to like people's cell phones, computers, and that's how people can get your information. So I just wrap those up in tinfoil, and that keeps that RFID protected. It blocks the signal. Boom. Put that sheet of tinfoil here, your cards here, and another sheet of tinfoil behind. That keeps that block. So there's a security tip for you. Never give anybody your date of birth, name, social, debit, credit, bank details, or nothing. Because I'm telling you what, once some of your information is gone. The biggest to get back is your name. But that's not your really biggest if it gets lost. It's your social security number or date of birth. Your date of birth is impossible. You could try to protect it, but that it's poss impossible because you can never have that changed because that's the day you was born. The month, day, and the year. The social security number can be changed, but you got to go through a lot of red tape to do it. And it may even charge you some to do it. Now your name change out will be definitely a charge to do that. To try to get your identity back sometimes, it's, it's harder said than done, guys. Sometimes they make it nearly impossible to get it back. Because like a line, if you go fill out these... Uh, forms like for I don't know surveys and they ask you for some details and they're doing that surveys they're going to keep sending one survey after another after another after another after another try to win gift cards McDonald's don't do it because all that stuff with these third party applications and markets go to this one web called dark web and that's where a lot of your hackers you can hire for crooked hackers legit hackers you can get movies off there for free even before the movie theaters release them okay your social security numbers on your phone number banking everything is sold through that watch who you get stuff to
Watch who you give your stuff to, guys. Use your head. You got it for a reason. Use it. These places call you up, get call blockers. A good enabled when it blocks private numbers. Stuff like that. Block text messages when you get them bogus. Don't give no details. Not unless you know that party on the other end of that phone or computer of yours or phone is a legit. That's where a lot of people make their mistakes. Like these apps, they got to download every app for everything out there. But I'm going to tell you a little secret on those apps. A lot of them, and if you don't believe me, check out the CBC Marketplace. Um, a lot of them ask you for these details, like microphone information, pictures, this and that. They access your stuff and personal details of your phone. It can contain your banking, your phone number, everything. Be careful when you answer those plot or approve and deny questions okay I'm there to protect people like you and like said also check out that CBC marketplace out of Canada it's a great place to do and it's a you know scammers can go at bad times they try to bug you around it so security month when everybody gets paid now where these stimulus checks are supposed to be coming back out again they're bugging people because of that, trying to take your hard-earned money. Wake up, people. That's why I make videos like this. And around the holidays, you're going to have even more scammers. And they're approaching very soon. This is September. We got October. Start November, December is Christmas. You're going to be scammed out of several hundred, even several millions and thousands of dollars. You know... Watch who the friends you talk to online. Some of them are scams. Watch these dating sites. You know, some of them like these sex sites for his personal and say, sign up for free, do email, password. Then when long shot comes, a lot of times there's going to be a page to fill out for your banking, for your debit or credit card detail. We ain't going to charge you for this. That's a scam. That's a lie. Don't fill it out. Because you're going to see, start to see eventually money withdrawed from your account if you see any of this if you mess up contact your bank your financial institution like credit card get the charge reversed if you can you might have to get a new card through the mail you might have to get a new route or not a routing number but a bank account number like for checking savings to protect you if you have the mobile app for your bank Get a bank, it allows you to lock and unlock your cards like ours. We can unlock and lock our cards remotely. When we don't use them, we keep them locked for security. What we do, use them, we unlock them. That basically is designed for lost or stolen, but you can also lock them too for emergencies to protect you. Okay, they can still override and go through without declining your card. But... It helps some. Okay. So remember the tips and tricks I told you. You know, there's people out there upsells products. Car lots out there selling you cars under a lease or buy buy option where they add details to it like new rims, tinted windows, new stereos, car seat covers. Then they add all they say all this is free. No, they add it in with your bill when you go to sign up for the car loan. And I got to get a special guest here. He's meowing. His name is Coffee. He's been meowing quite a bit here. There's my little buddy, Coffee. But yeah, from us and Coffee and all of our kittens, protect yourself. Do the right thing. Call the police. If need to be, call your bank, reverse the charges, dispute it. You know, I mean, it's just all about common sense. It's just like some of these laptop computers out there, these antiviruses, a lot of them have false positives. 
you download one, it's going to say you have numbers of viruses because they want you to buy the god darn full fledged package. It's upselling their products. Okay? I've tested these on factory new computers. Or computers that's been used but factory reset where it's completely clean. They tell you got this and that wrong. Just use common sense. Clean your files. Do this and that. Just watch what you do. Watch what you download. Watch what you upload. Watch what sites you go on. Use ad blockers. That'll block those Microsoft buyer scam warnings that pop up and you have to call the darn number. Then they upsell you a product that's already downloaded in your computer. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be Windows Defender. And it's already built in your computer. Then they walk away with two, three, four hundred dollars, and you're walking away poor, and these bastards, excuse me for saying it, is walking away richer. You got to use your head, guys. They give it to you on your shoulders for a reason. Besides seeing, smelling, tasting, and hearing, you got to think it through the whole step of the way. You think I'm lying to you, then it's your butt, not mine. Check out CBC Marketplace. They got everything in there from carjacking to call center scams to phone scams. Dentist, yes, even dentist is listed in there for scams, how they scam people out of their money and insurance. So that's why I made this video for you. Because you know when it comes to scams, I'm on top of it. You're not going to fool me. You never will. Okay, I've been a victim of a few every now and again. But a lot of stuff goes into that dark web like I told you. Okay? That's why I try to tell you this. Watch what you buy online. Watch what you purchase online. Whatever. Watch who you give your banking details to. Only deal with legitimate sites only. And you check into them before you do them on reviews. And you can't go, always go on reviews. And I'll tell you why. Because a lot of companies has this problem. Like auto mechanics. If their business is slow and down because they're cruddy. They'll pay their employees on the side to make up a phony name. So you think it's somebody else to write up a good review on that company. So that's the other thing. You got to watch the reviews. You can't always go on reviews. Because some of them are legit. Some are fake. Majority of them are fake. Okay. Like a mechanic. Once you get a good one, get a good relationship with that one, stay with it. Okay. If you get ripped off, go to the next person. A lot of people says Google your reviews. That don't always work. Cause these fake ones out there look legit. Okay. They can these companies can hire people it works for them or pay people on the side like us little extra money to write up a review on them to make them look good to stay in business longer because here's the thing once they got a business they just lost that income then they have to figure out the next plan there's too many crooks scams out there between phones computers everything nowadays stay away from those microsoft pop-ups i told you how to do it download off your for your Chrome web browser off the Chrome store, an ad blocker. If it comes with a built-in computer internet service, download one off the Microsoft store. Activate it. Now to keep those scam ads off and other ads off your page. That's where a lot of your viruses are lurking at. Keep your temporary files cleaned. Watch what you download, upload. It's all about common sense. It's all about common sense. 
okay? Some of these companies that you fill out these surveys for will swear they never give your information out. Your stuff is private confidential. That's a lie, guys. That's a lie. A majority of them. There's a few on us, but a lot of it's a lie. Just suck her in. A lot of these guys are big corporations and companies. They pass this information along from one part to the next. It's like passing the buck. Okay. Like those of you that drives cars that has all electronic locks. Don't use your remote to unlock and lock your car. It sends a code out. It's like phones and computers. If it has an ability of locking and unlocking your car manually, now mine ain't power locks, so I don't have to worry. Mine ain't gonna throw no codes for that part or the windows. Lock and unlock your cars manually. Those transponders sends codes about like the Chips in the credit or debit or bank cards. People can get that to unlock your stuff. Make new transponders. Try to make new keys. Be smart. Think smart. And be smart. And be safe. That's why I made this video. This is based on all, about all scams. If I missed anything, please tell me in the comments down below. Or if I forgot to leave anything, if I remember after I upload the video, I'll leave it in the description. If you see the description blank, you know I probably covered it. If you see stuff in the description, you know I probably had to say something else I forgot to say. Everybody does that through a video, you know. Like these call centers, for instance, like in New Delhi, India. When they set up those call centers, they write up scripts. Like a movie, you study them. They're laid there next to your computer and phone when you scan these people. If you get what you're saying, you pull it up, look at it, read off of it what it says. To scam them out of money. They'll cuss at you, they'll threaten you with law agencies, everybody else. No, guys, it's a scam. Okay? I'm protecting myself. You should too. Take this video seriously. Please. But anyhow, I hope you like, subscribe, comment. Leave any suggestions or comments down below. I'll try to help you out if I can. No haters, no trolls, or you could be blocked, spammed of all three. And always hit that like button and sl slap that bell for more future videos like this. Add notification bell. If you don't, you won't maybe get no future videos on my channel. And before we sign off, I'm off the set for a few. But this is coffee. He wants to say bye-bye. Um, but like I said, like Lacey Fluga, my wife, Subscribe to her. GPPI, Ghost Police Paranormal Investigators. His name is Rick. Subscribe to him as well as myself. Like I said, like, subscribe to me. Ring the notification bell for more future videos. And stay off my page if you're a hater, troll, or a hacker. Because I will and can block, report, and spam you from my channel. I'm not being a jerk. But I want all the bad people off my channel. If you're a legit good person, you're more welcome to come. Anybody's allowed to come to my channel if they want to. But anyhow, I'll talk to you later. Be safe, stay safe, be smart, and do the right things I talked about. Till the next time, I'll talk to y'all later. And I'm out of here for tonight watching some movies. I just wanted to get this little tutorial video up. Bye-bye for now. Peace out from me and the cats and the family. We love you. See you in the next one real soon. Talk to you later. Bye.